So now we're on to the flam skins. Okay? We can break those down into the same hand slash alternating flams, right? So if we have uh, same hand flams, which I always found to be interesting because most students, when they're starting to play, could do this. And they could do this. But this, a whole different ballgame. So I always found that pretty interesting. So oftentimes, all we're talking about is tap strokes and then full strokes. So I'll do an exercise with them a lot of times and we'll start here. I'll just teach you to drop the grace note in, basically. Then you have alternating flames, okay? It's just down and up strokes, so just like this. So even with that first multiple height skill set, you've already sort of built up the skills you need to play alternating flames. Then you can get into more of the flam rudiments, okay? I break them down into the next three categories, control rebound, downstroke, and invert. Control rebound, would be basically your mills, your flam taps, your swiss. Okay, and the idea there that you're basically playing a decrescendo. So it's the controlling of the rebound to not let it come back up all the way, but to let it slightly decrescendo. Then you can look at the downstroke movements, okay? Those would be your flam accents, uh, flam paradiddles, same hand uh, patty flop or same hand uh, patty flop flaws. Your downstroke ones. And the idea there that you're really creating that downstroke skill. Okay, you're taking an accent, playing multiple notes low, and then returning up for the accent. So, <laughs> playing paradiddles, <laughs> and then the hand-to-hand -hand thing. <laughs> you can see too that all of those are derivatives of the one plus x kind of one accent followed by multiple taps and then an upstroke voice. Then you can get into the inverted skill set. Okay, and those would be your inverted uh, flam tap. Another down tap up. Down tap up, down tap up, down. Uh, flam parent little diddles. Uh, then we have flam accus. We have your chintatas. Uh, and things like that. So those three things really are showing you if you know how to manipulate the stick. So if everybody knew what, say, 421 or the grid was, my quick and dirty audition for anybody would be flam on one with the accent, okay, which would be this. is the ability to manipulate the stick at any level. You can let it bounce, you can play inverts, you can play a lot of very, very difficult things if you can do those three different uh, skills. So an easier way to maybe break that down, I would have students play a flam tap, uh, inverted flam tap, and then flam accents. And that's a good way uh, to get through a ton of kids like we do in a drum corps camp to see kind of what they have. So I uh, want to play a little solo that will demonstrate that. Uh, this is text. 